am going to Europe in a couple of days and I need to pack. I'm so excited, but I haven't even started packing up, which is very unusual coming from me. Better for you because that means you get to help style all of my outfits with me and do all the little like in between bits and bobs before I leave. So uh, I probably need to get started. So hope you enjoy. Okay, I know I am in the same pajamas that I was in my last video, but I live in them. The suitcase I bring with me everywhere. I love that it's yellow because when I'm grabbing my bag from the bag like pickup area, everyone's bag is like a black one and I have so much anxiety that I'm gonna take well that someone else is gonna take my bag and then just everything that I own is gone. Yellow, unique, cute little like lock which you can't open your bag without which I love because I don't know everyone's bag is just like free for all like if you actually think about it anyone could just go and like just take the whole bag even if they wanted I don't like I don't think anyone would so I want to get a apple tag because um I do not want to be losing my suitcase either so I'll have a look into that um, and you just chuck it inside your bag. Apparently it's really easy. I didn't realise how much stuff I had already put aside. And that was quite heavy. I only got 23 kilos for luggage. And then carry on I've got, I think it was like seven. And because we're going to lots of little islands and stuff, we're going to be on a plane a lot and they're going to be very strict about the weight. And for Sydney Fashion Week, I had 40 kilos and then 14 carry on and then I posted 20 kilos home. Yeah. I also am going to take this as my carry on. There is so much sand in it. I, I think it might be too big, but if I be like, if I don't put much in it, I'm going to squash it up and then. I don't know. I'm going to pull out a couple more pieces I like and I'll chuck them on my bed, go through it all, make some outfits. Um, I can kind of go from there because I already think. This is going to be weighing a lot. This gorgeous top has to see me. I'll probably tell you where I'm going. That might help the situation a little. This isn't looking promising. Um, maybe, okay, maybe I'll pack the pieces that I know that I definitely want to take and then I can try things on that I'm not 100% about or that I just need a bit of like re reassurance um, on whether I take it or not. These two dresses, I already got with this one as well. Yes. This one I want to wear in Paris. Um, I'm going to take as well, which is new. This little top, I need to alter this skirt. There's a couple of stuff I need to alter. Okay, this one, yes. I think this one's a yes. This one, I'll pack. And then, I'm gonna take these shorts. But I don't think I like the skirt, so I'll leave it if I'm not 100% because it will take up space. Um, so this top, Terry, I could do that. Ted, okay, I could do like an all pink. I also need to pull out some bags. Okay, these are what the shorts look like. They're like a really big, oversized pair, which I love. I'm very into oversized. Okay, this is cute, I like this. It's a bit different, like doing shorts and as in for me. Um, a cute like beach look. Um, but I'm gonna pull out some bags as well because that's probably gonna be my biggest issue. This one's a yes, there's a couple that are different. Yes, I got this for this for the trip. Um, 
which is coming. Alright. Ted, where can you sit? Right there. Careful. This is a lot. Ted's out in the middle. <laughs> I just think it's so fun, so yes. Some hats as well, which I just pulled out quickly. This one is so me. Like, I adore. Like, it's very, very overexposed. I generally look like a five year old, like, going for a little, like. Oh, I know, Ted. What's the other? Go. I actually do look like a five year old, but anyway. This one. Um. Which I think is really cool. Oh, hey, yo. Hi. Hi. Okay. Ted's back, aren't you? Um. Okay, I also got this bag for the trip. I've been wanting, um, I've been wanting a pink bouquet in a very long time because I don't know if you can tell, but pink's my colour. Oh, this would be a cute little outfit. Okay, I love that. I haven't like shown anyone yet because it's going to be like make its little surprise at Europe, but apparently it's making a surprise now. Um, that was a plan with the Bottega as well. I mean, the Prada as well. Goes with a lot of my white pieces and it's just like simple when you don't have a bag that goes with things this is the bag i always go for i think i want to take this one as well but i'm really really scared they're going to take it away from me because at sydney if you saw my sydney vlog they pulled me aside and they thought it was a knife and they like scanned it through because fair enough that like looks like a knife they showed me the screen before they like had a little inspect of my bag and I was like, who has smuggled a knife in my bag? So I think it might be a really, really bad idea to bring it, but I will be bringing it because it is my baby and I adore her. Oh, I love it. This is probably like one of my favorites. I can't believe I have it as well. Um, I think the other one's gonna be so much handier, when, especially when I'm going from place to place, I can just dump it on my other one. And then we'll get back to the bags later. I need to stay on track with some outfits. The colours, this is one of the skirts I need to um, alter. I was watching so many um, packing videos before. Everyone was like packing like five items and I was like, oh, that isn't going to be me. It's cute. So if the skirt's obviously fixed. There's some little pleats there. Every single time before I go away. I just decided to become a, a little like alterations lady. I think it's gorgeous, but I reckon if I do some pleats like that, that would be really cute. Okay, this is going in my alterations pile. I could also do like a strapless moment with it. I really like it strapless as well. This is a skirt I wore at Sydney Fashion Week, but it's quite heavy. Oh my god. Stop. This isn't a set, but that goes so perfectly. Maybe I put it in the yes pile, but I can take it out if it's too heavy. But I really like this. Imagine this in Paris, just strolling down the streets. I'm gonna put a flower on it. If I do that. Like, yeah. Yes. I wish all of my dresses were this light. Cut it. Or I'll pleat it. Okay, I'll cut it because then there'll be less fabric. This one I also love. I think I'm going to cut it as well. Yes, yes, yes. It's very spicy for me. To put it lightly. I feel you can never go wrong um, because they're very diverse. I will be wearing these just with bikinis or like just even a tank like this. Um, but I really want to know how much I packed. I think I'm going to go buy some packing cubes because I think it'll make my life a lot easier. Okay, the packing is still... Packing is still a mess. Um, 
okay it's organized but it's a mess so this over here is a yes here is alterations even though they're a bit scattered even on the ground i need to try on these pieces oh my god i haven't been taking photos of outfits there's like bags i think this is like a bit of a no pile um i don't know but i am back on my phone because my camera was about to die so going strong so i probably should charge it but maybe this is a good sign that i should go now and get packing cubes okay i'm gonna do that and then i can come back and continue filming okay okay i should put on a little bit more of a comfier outfit wanting to do all the packing in one go but I if I start packing and then I've got to start unpacking as in if I'm gonna get packing cubes which I think cubes are a must so there's no point of like starting packing stuff into the suitcase like the yeses and then having to take them out and then repack so if I get them now then I can sort of do it a bit more seamless Seamless, seamless, seamlessly, seamlessly, that's the one. I think I have a very unrealistic idea of how many items I'm wanting to take with me. But I'm like determined to make it work. I always make it work. But this is difficult because usually I make it work by like increasing my baggage because that's the only way that you can make it work. But this time I actually can't, so I don't know if it's going to work. I'm gonna get these ones, they're like little packing cubes. I'm not gonna lie, I think so far this video is probably gonna be close to not helpful at all because I always watch videos and they're so organized and this is quite the opposite. So I'm quite sorry if you had high hopes for minimalistic packing because it's not happening. I am starting to do some alterations. So I've marked roughly on each side where I want to cut it to and then tomorrow I will probably do the sewing because it's late now and I don't want to make a lot of noise but I'm just going to work through a couple pieces and prep them all for sewing and stitching up and everything. It's just a rough to get the material off. I thought I probably should write a little list in my notes um, that we are a little bit more sorted because I'm all over the shop right now. A bunch of stuff. Um, done my waxing, which was a painful experience. But it's something I gotta do. Okay, these are from Ikea. They came in a set of three. This is the biggest size. And I've sort of rolled them as well because I think that helped with the space. Um, in terms of alterations, I haven't done that either. That needs to be my list. We <sighs> sort out all my meds as well and chemist. Mm, then I pulled some more stuff out because, oh, I just weighed it, weighed it and I was on 18, I think. Um, I haven't packed bathers or makeup or skincare or hair stuff, but these are maxi dresses, I think. Um, these, I think these are tops. I've got some more tops to put in. This one is, might be minis. These packing cubes are so good. There is so much clothes in these, I could not recommend them enough. Um, I mean, I'll tell you how they go when I'm actually traveling and like like pulling stuff out of it but for now I think it is doing a lot of favors and this is such a weird angle but anyway very full. okay it is one. 56 and I'm starting to do some alterations
guys, we are done for alterations. Oh god. Make sure that they'll make sure cover um, workspace is open. Just finished filming something for this. Um, and I was like, oh, I put like this flower on it because so I was like, I gotta make it more interesting. And because this was a flower, I'm gonna take not that you get it, but I was just gonna put a clip on it, but then I was like, maybe I'll just do a ribbon and then I, I can tie it to things. I don't know if I like that idea though. I have super glue, like, I have so many of these, these are literally just from um. Office works, and they were like two dollars for like, like fifty or something. But the annoying thing is, I always get it everywhere on my hands. Maybe I just cut a hole and then do that. That's not gonna work. Either. Under the ribbon. And on here. Okay, now we're gonna stick. Looks like it needs to dry, but I put some on top so then it like really seals it in. And look how long the string is. Anyway, we're not gonna touch it. That was very unnecessarily stressful. We also just had to say bye to Ted. And we had to buy him a little coat because apparently we're taking him back to the breeders where we got him from because they like look after the dogs. And Apparently they're kind of outside, so we have to buy a little jacket. <laughs> Stop it, gay bathers. Whenever you probably wear, I overpack so much. My normal is definitely not normal, so I need to. And I'll pull out some a lot, and then I will show you, and then we might have to scull from there. Yep. That's purple. This color. Should I do white? This is the white strapless top. Right. I have a feeling I have picked up more bathers than the average person actually has in their bathers collection, let alone taking to Europe. I just. And then some I've got to try on. So these. Uh, yeah, that's a bodysuit and then this frilly one. Some high waisted bottoms, which I think I'm going to take. We're under like a cover up if we're going to a beach club. Okay, I'm going to start trying on. But this is what we're looking like. I feel like that's already too many. Okay, but this can classify as a top and that can classify as a top. And so then there's not that many bathers, right? Okay, I think these ones are a yes, but I need to find the straps. Yes. That's what they look like. That little like gold detail. I have decided on 14. Okay, so it's a bit of a slow process, but we're getting there. Put shoes in a little dust bag as well. I need to pack my carry on. Hey, we gotta drop this on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I chipped my nail already. I got it fixed. She's not gonna be happy with me. But I'm gonna gotta run to the chemist, run around, grab a couple of last minute things. It's like the epitome of Victoria's Secret Runway Show for me. I think it's coming back, which I am very, very very excited for but there's so many like iconic moments in the shows like i thought i'd share that because i'm so excited these are so good it's by terry it's kind of like the drunk elephant 
can see that I wear. It is so good. Okay, so this is makeup and skincare I'm gonna take. Okay, yeah, these are the pieces I'm gonna take. I've got a couple of bracelets, um, a little gold bracelet, um, which would be nice to switch up. I'm gonna put my brushes in a little dust bag first. Packing my carry on now. Um, I need to find a little bag for these bits and bobs, and then I'm gonna bring this bag because. I know it's going to cause me trouble, so it's best to have it on me. And then books. I got this so long ago. And I've read just a couple random ones, and I love it. And then this one. Um, I haven't read I got a while ago. Forgot what I asked for when I went to the bookshop. But obviously I bought it, so it must be something I like. You'd hope. There's a belt at the top of the top. I don't know, I'm sure I'll make it work. I'm getting very excited, but I think my room is a bit of a mess, so once I clean it and relax, it will probably hit me a bit more for I finalise everything. And then... Rest a little. And then off to the airport. Thanks for watching. Bye.